going on, everybody? Welcome back to another live watch. Wait, not watch along. Sorry. Bed warmers. <laughs> Wake up. up. Sorry. I just wanted to get that out there. Sorry. My bad. Say my bad right now. I just said this, my bad. This is how we start last. This is how you, you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. So you're not calm down again, right? Whoa, whoa. This is how you piss whoa, whoa. me off all the time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, want, you, want, you want me to say something? Say it. My bad. My bad. Welcome back, everybody, to another Bench Warmers. Yes. The greatest show south of the beautiful country of. You better pick the right country. Canada. <laughs> well, you know, I, see south. I see what's safe. Yeah, one. One. See what's what, safe. What, what country is north of America? Canada. I mean, I, we're, I'm not talking about from a, like a like like a longitudinal, latitudinal perspective, but like if we're looking right above North America, what, what else is mean? there? Like the mean? closest thing, like what Greenland? That isn't that still longitudinal? Latitudinal? No, I know. I'm saying, I'm saying, like not getting techie. Like what? What, what could be right above North America? I mean, of north of America, it's only Canada and Greenland. I think Russia. No, but uh, no. This is this is what I'm saying. Like, if we're looking at it from a globe, right? If we're looking at it from a globe, if North America's here, and like Russia's all the way over here, then of course, you know, it's north. So, so same could be same could be said for Sweden, Norway, Denmark. So, what are you trying to say? I'm just saying, let's strip the techiness aside. What else is literally right the above the North Pole? You know, when you go to the North Pole. This actually Can you go to the North Pole? I think so. I thought people only go to the South Pole. I actually funny enough, I actually um I was uh, uh I was I was on I was on a date and she said that she said that one of her dreams was to go visit the North Pole. And I was like, How, can you even go there? Wow. I asked the same question you did. And you know what she said? She said, Absolutely, it's pretty easy. Really? So I was like, explain it to me. She said, You have to take a boat from somewhere. I'm already out. Absolutely. Let me explain I'm to you. Out. She said you have to take a boat, and she says the boat is like two and a half days, and she says that boat ride is hell. I'm out. I'm, I'm absolutely. I'm, out. I'm absolutely out. Wait, is, is it easier to get Antarctica? Don't you have to like fly all the way to the tip of um, Argentina? Yes, yes. And I, then I think it's a similar trip too, because you also you take, have to take a boat. A boat. No, I think you, I think you can take a plane in. No, you take a boat and then a plane to like one of the islands further south, I believe, and then you take a boat. Don't quote me on that. Absolutely not. Absolutely. You know, recently, I don't know why, but on a lot of my socials, mm -hmm. I get a specific person that works in Antarctica. And, like, you know, he, he, he goes through his day working. And he's like, today, work. Um, his videos usually start off as like, it's like my day today in negative 120 degree weather. Immediately, no. Uh, imagine. Immediately, no. And he says, this is what it's like working in negative 120 deg degree weather trying to eat outside. And he does the typical, like, gets hot water inside, makes, like, the instant ramen, uh -huh. goes outside, and goes, <laughs> <laughs> like that. And I, I just got to say, or how, absolutely or not. How much money would it take for you to work Easy. there? Give me. All right, let's, let's, let's go like this. 100K. Yearly salary. There. Yearly salary? Yeah. To work at the North absolutely Pole. Not. Absolutely 150. not. 150. Absolutely not. 200. Absolutely not. All right, let's, let's bump it up notch. 500 grand a year. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's pretty slow. Hey, 500? How hmm. many years? 500. Oh, how many years? Yeah, how many years would you work then? Two. Two years. Two years. Just Two quick, years. Just, quick, just collect a quick get, little uh, get short quick, of a mil. Yeah. Yeah, but like, am I able to leave during those two years or do I have to stay in You Antarctica have to stay at Antarctica years. for two years straight. Freezing cold. The sun flare burning your eyeballs. 500K. Polar bears just visiting you real mm, quick. Polar bears are only in the North Pole, I think. Oh, did you did you just Nat Geo <laughs> I finesse think, me? I think. <laughs> I think. I think. I don't know. I feel like I feel like polar bears are only one of the poles. And I know that See, I, but, the, I, see, but I'm, that's I'm stupid for then. sure. I'm for sure it's the it's they are in the North Pole. Because of, you know, because, you know, this might be controversial because, but, you know, because of, you know, the getting warmer, they're coming down to Canada that's, that's not and they're breeding with grizzly bears. So they're making, so they're mating because it's getting so warm, you know, they're losing a lot of their land. They're coming down into warmer 
territory uh-huh. in Canada. Wait, why, and do they're you, mating why do you know this? With grizzly bears. Wait, why so do they you know made this? a new breed of bear. Okay, but why do you know this? <laughs> you know, I like Nat Geo, you know? Animal you know, you know uh, t- uh, Chad, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Wait, hold channel. on, Chad. I'll, let me answer this. Chad, I, I'll tell you why he knows this. Because he's on, he's on TikTok. Doom scrolling. Oh no no no! Not this sleeping. Is, no, no, no. This isn't this isn't what I learned on TikTok. This is the this is the one out of like out of the ten videos that gets recommended to me on YouTube. That's like you know like forty minute long like, YouTube videos. Like falling down the rabbit hole. Yeah yeah yeah. It's like you clicked you clicked one video about animals once, and then all of a sudden on your for you page on YouTube, yeah. it's like a random like I didn't even know this channel mm. before. It's like a forty minute documentary on why polar bears. Are moving into Canada. Mm. Uh, that's why. Okay. And did I watch all forty minutes? Yes. <laughs> did I get random knowledge into my brain? Yes. That and, and that's why you show up one minute before we have to click a live button, and then you get the we stream, we start the stream, and then you make fun of me. And I said my bad. That's that's that that's. You know what? I I messaged you and I said I'll be late. Yeah, I know. And I was I was completely fine with it. Yeah. Yeah, and then you start, and then what did you? How did we start? No, 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 you, no, 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 no. You, there, okay, there, can, can you look? No, there's an hand. important. There's a important. Wait, there's, why are you? Wait, hold on. There's an important <laughs> thing before. Wait, this. I feel like I'm getting manhandled. There, can you there's please an, like there's go an important, okay, you know, uh, uh, like thing that we missed before you just said that. Okay, I'll wild it out. Okay, I'll, please I'll, like go right. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, please like go my hand. Sorry. Okay. Ah, like. But. I don't have any strength this morning. I'm so exhausted. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. But I just asked a question. Okay. I just asked a question. Ask the question. And I said, what are we doing today? Uh, we have absolutely no idea. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, yesterday, Saturday, it was torrential. Yesterday was one of the worst weathers we've seen yeah, in a while. John and I went out to you know film some, something special. And shout out to Alan. Shout out. Shout and out Ariel. Alan. Ariel. But... um. It was crazy. Uh, Leo's goals says, "Yo, yo, yo guys, Leo's goals, what's going on? I hope you're having a lovely Sunday morning." By the way, quick little thing, Leo. I was going to, I thought you, were, I was going to loud. You're about to go. I saw, I saw your finger go, and I was like, "No, no." By oh. the way, Leo and uh, and JSM forty four our guys, James. He they created a video content out literally outside Anfield, where uh-huh. they uh, Leo tossed JSM three different levels of balls, like uh-huh. heights of balls, uh-huh. and he had to touch it down. Uh-huh. Tell me not. Like this height, this height, that like. Tell me that I would sl- I would slay that challenge because because you know me, my touch is the probably the best thing about my football game. That's all I got. The sorry, touch. Sorry. sorry, wow, it's really early in the morning. Did, uh, uh, what? Did you? My t- what? Uh, what? Tell him. <laughs> tell him. Tell him. My touch is the sorry. Only- see, see. All right, be real. Be real. No, be real. Be real. Lame dash O. Sorry, you said your best attribute is your touch. I mean, what what else is my here? Here, first of all, have you see this is this is this is this is why you know you should go against yourself one day if you could, because there's no way you say your touch is your best attribute when what's my my guy? Uh uh, your best attribute? Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> the ball right. Boom. <laughs> this guy. Oh. That's your best attribute. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that is your best attribute. Oh. Leo's goal says we're going to have to recreate it at Old Trafford this sick. time. We'll Jay Brew this. says, John, you still play Warzone. Um, regularly, once in a while, well, once with, in a with, while with Jimmy and a couple of my other friends, but we don't, yeah. we, I mean, back in the, back in the pandemic times, we used to play yeah. that thing religiously. Well, I mean, it's funny cause like we usually play a lot. Not, not as much Warzone as we used to. Warzone, we would log on at like after work. Yeah. Like six o'clock. I mean, o'clock. we were doing that like up until like a week ago. <laughs> not six o'clock. Like back in the days we were okay. grinding. True. We were grinding, grinding. Um, HBK's lazy eye. In the chat says, my man is using his Kaioken with his handshake. And he says, John Berbatov. DB Cooper says, I'm so John is touch. Shakira. Uh, John is Shakira because my hips don't lie. <laughs> I'm telling you, have you ever, you, you've never gone against someone where you, you, you went boom and they boomed you back. Did you? No. Uh, so, so when you were saying the boom, Check. boom, boom, you're talking about hip checking. Yeah, that's your that's the best thing you can do because that is kind of upset. when you when that you say sad. when you say the best attribute, right? I expect you to be able to touch any ball out of the sky like Burp. All 
All right, hold on. Let, let, can let, you do that? that say no. Uh-huh. Say say to the camera right now. Can you do that every single touch? I cannot. Can you? Can you? Boom, boom. My chest is. That's pretty good. You saying that in front of me? All right, that's it's, you're better, but <laughs> I will say this: when I when I say touch, it's not like silky burba. Bring the ball fancy. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. It's a specific type of touch where mm-hmm. the ball comes down and I could just put it right down on the feet. That's what I'm talking about. That's about the best thing I could do. You know, like just picking the ball out and just just drop it in front of you. See, see, there's there's, yeah, between, on, you know, there's, a, there's a difference between and then stopping right on your foot. Yeah, and there's a difference between and then oh, and and then going, but it's still like you know, it's a little different. It's a little different. It's a little different. I'm not saying you're bad. No, you are. Saying the best bad. attribute is. We should go film, ten touches each. See who's better. Like different heights. Yeah, both of us. I I think I think it's safe to say I have a better touch than you. That's about the only thing I have better than you in. Shooting, not there. Passing range, gone now. Everything else, it just. Uh, uh. You're 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 really saying this on camera. I'm saying I'm saying it with chest on camera. Wow, it. Wow. I'm not scared of. You're scared of actually doing it with me. I ain't scared. Let's get, uh, uh, the keepy ups you do way better. Everything you do better, but when it comes to let me just say up, one thing. When yeah. it comes to picking a ball out of the sky, let, let me just say one thing. Yeah, let me just. I, say, I'm Burba. Let me just say one. I'm thing. Burba with the touch. Let me just say one thing. I understand that like every once in a while a ball goes up in the air and you touch it down mm. and, it, and it goes. It, it's pretty good. Mm. I'll admit it. Mm. But I see you do that once out of like ten times. Okay, hold on. Time. Okay. But you disrespecting my name. How did I disrespect Disrespecting your name? my game? I didn't disrespect your game. Disrespecting the effort and time I put into this sport. I didn't I, I didn't do none of that. I this can't dude take wilding it. out right now. I can't I have no take idea. it. I, I can't take it. About. The fact that you think you can touch a ball better than me. I don't know what you're talking about. Woo. You're wilding out. What do you mean? You said your touch is better than me. We gotta have to film it. I'm now. talking about that specific exactly. thing. Exactly. Exactly. We're gonna have to see now. We're gonna have to see. No, I'm done. T- I'm done shaking your hand because you freaking on your Trump team breaking my hand and my what thing? <laughs> you walling out. Leo's goal says I got a random question for you guys. He says, "What's your favorite Ooh. sport documentary ever?" My oh. guess is you'll say either the Last Dance or the new Beckham one. Let me just say I didn't. I watched the Beckham one. I did not watch the last episode yet, um, and I did not watch the Last Dance, so I do not know. HBK says you Wait, I have are- to answer the question though. I know. I'm letting you think. I already know. Oh, you already know? Yeah. Can you ask me the question? <sighs> ask me the question. What's your favorite sports talk ever? Let me think. <laughs> no, um, no, I know, HBK. I know, I, know, I know the answer. Let me answer. Leo. I know what your answer is. Bro. What is it? It's going to be the Park Chi-Song one from like 2007. The KBS one. Yeah. The one where Evra and Tevez comes yeah. in and go boom. Yeah. And then. Yeah, and he, he gets a cut on and his And then lip. you see for the rest of, the, of that uh, part of the video, he has a huge red mark right here. Yeah, and he's got like a little cut. Yeah. HBK's Lazy Eye says, Fellaini plus Berbatov with uh, Potara earrings equals good vibes. I forgot what Potara earrings No are. idea what that means. GB Cooper says, just imagine Skulls listing his attributes without being humble. That's me. I'm Skulls. Say my bad right now. Say my bad right now. Let me do this. Real. You know, I'm okay. I'm okay with you. Right. I'm let okay with right. you disrespecting my touch. Uh-huh. But let's not do that. Right, let me do this right. Do <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Yo, blah 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 says we need that video. Okay, let's we'll, do it. We'll do it. So you're saying specifically throw it up 30 feet in the air. Yeah, and just your touch it is out. better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've seen you play for. At and least I guarantee you, now. if we do three, three back, about like, like three to each other, right? Mm. The level one, two, and three. I mm. guarantee you, we're both gonna be like, "Oh, you didn't throw it as high than I, as mine." So we just have to just yeet the ball in the air every every time, and then have to pick it down. <laughs> I'm just keeping one hundred. Sometimes it's not good to just wild out. Sometimes one man says potato earrings make people fuse together in DBZ. Uh, oh, it's that it's little like blue the little one. ball, the one that hangs. Oh, the blue yeah, one. like the little yellow mm. ball right here. Oh, interesting, interesting. We have a lot of people here. DB Cooper says, I would hate literally every second of uh, the North or South Pole, except the should have. We should have read this before. We were, we were getting too into our conversation. <laughs> yeah, we were walling out. HBK's Lazy Eye says, I would go to Iceland to cast in the remake of Happy Feet. John, you will... Oh, okay. We read all that. Oh, apparently, you know, um, penguins are some of the wildest creatures there are. 
Um, there was another... you say wild, be careful about what you say because I know some of the stuff. No, 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 no. Um, there was a scientist in the early 1920s okay. that went to go, um, you know, study okay. penguins. I think it was in the South Pole. Study their like their nature and, and then the like penguins mashed them up. The penguins did such unspeakable things to him. No, not to him. Just to, to each other. Uh, each other. Uh-huh. That his reports and findings couldn't be published for, I think it was in the 1910s actually, it couldn't be published for over 100 years in case of the fact that the public's perception of penguins would get be that destroyed. It was insane. So penguins are, they but look why, cute. But why are they going, why they are they going cute. so, ov- why are they going like so over the top to defend the image of an animal species? They're just reporting on what they find. Because that it was that it, it doesn't was, matter, but that's the tr- that's 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 just the it animal was, it behavior. Was that crazy. But that's the animal behavior. You want me to tell you some of the behavior? Just one, but make sure we're not getting de- demonetized. Just, just, oh, I think no matter which okay, one. Okay, I pick, okay, it's okay. Then demonetized. if we're gonna get demonetized, change the words up and uh-huh. like make it up into something. Let's else. Let's just say you know penguins. Uh huh. You know, love each other. Yeah. Don't even say love. Say pick, pick, penguins. Figure out, a, figure out a different word for love. Penguins. Uh-huh. Do like sound effects. Do like sound effects. <laughs> oh, penguins! They. Penguins, they... Mm, each, whoa. Uh-huh. Okay. To, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> 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 hey, you get me now? A little bit. A you little get bit. me now? Keep going, keep going. Okay. Well, tell me another they, one. They, and then, you know? <laughs> and then, so, you know, some of it is... <laughs> what the... Yo, shout out to all the sound effect artists out there cuz I cannot do that job. <laughs> um Rajan in the chat says international football matches are shy. Did you get a chance to watch any of them? I watched the England game. Okay. I watched the Korea game. Mm-hmm. Um and I think I, I I think it was the Germany versus France game. Yes. That was a banger. And then I think it was Colombia versus I didn't see, wait, you saw all these games? I saw all the highlights. For all these games. Wow. Okay. And then it was whichever one. I, I can't remember what country it was, but it was Colombia versus something. And Luis Diaz just absolutely just. Pfft. The only thong. The only thong. The only thing I remember about that Colombia ga- game was uh, Luis Diaz's dad in the stands. Mm. Like he was like dancing. Mm. What a vibe. Mm. That was about the only thing. But I think for me, the international week, this, this football aside, I think the only thing that I really enjoyed uh-huh. was seeing all the new kits. The, the new, yeah, the new a lot of the uh, Nike kits. Oh the Nike kits. Did the, the Adidas kits Adidas, also? Yeah, Adidas as well. The Germany kits. The Korea kits. Oh, we got it. We're gonna make a separate video on the Korea kits because I think we have a bit of a divided opinion, and we'll we'll save that for another video. But yeah, th- let's just say you know it's a little divided. So here, so here is what's interesting uh, as the fo- as the football kit guy. I'll tell you the Nike oh, kits. You the football kit guy now. I've been. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I've been the football kit guy. All right, you're right. But there will be a reason why you're solidified as the football kick guy very soon. I'm thinking about making that video. I'm just releasing that video today. Just vibes. Is it done? No. <laughs> I got home yesterday. As soon as I got home after filming, uh-huh. I had to just clean the house. I was running around taking care of uh, taking care of family stuff. And by the time I finished everything, it was 10 o'clock. <laughs> like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So and I remember just I, my, my entire body is sore. Can I just say something right now? Okay. I don't know why I'm sore. I'm so sore right like now. My, my lower back. It's because yesterday we did the we did an hour straight of intense I haven't throwing. Thrown. Yeah, <laughs> just if you guys don't know, you know, go, go to his Instagram. You'll see what we're talking about. But today, maybe you'll see it. Maybe, well, maybe yeah, either today or tomorrow. Who knows? who knows? Hopefully. But um, so you're as you were saying. Yeah. So I just, a football I was just so kit tired, guy. What was I saying? <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. I remember. <laughs> as a football kit guy, uh-huh. um, the Nike as kit. N- not as a, as the. The, the, the quintessential. The, the ultimate. The. The goat. Uh, uh, <laughs> not the that far. The one and only. Oh, that's about goat status, though. Yeah, I know, but. Saying goat is a little too yeah, much. Yeah, it's a bit you know, a little crazy. I'm sure okay. there's a lot of people out there have that. You know. Okay. All right. Well, let me say this. As a footy kit guy, I, I understood the, the rendition. Again, of you said a football kit guy. I'm yeah. sorry. The, the Nike kit guy. Come on. Uh, the Nike kit guy. Let's put it in our brains here, boys. The and football girls. kit guy. Yes. Okay. The Nike kits in particular, um, all of them have <clears throat> all of them have a reference to a training 
top or training uh, apparel from the past. Right. So, for example, the Korea kit we were talking about, that red is not a red. It's almost kind of like a pinkish, like a yeah. fluorescent yeah. red, right? And that hue, that red is is from a nine is from Korea's nineteen. Oh, sorry, it might have been two thousand six, maybe two thousand six or two thousand ten World Cup, where they released those kits, um, including. Remember, do you remember that? <clears throat> do you remember the picture of Chaduri ru- uh, running in the training grounds with Anjoan? They have the 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 blue with the the turquoise. Chest. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That turquoise and and is on top of is around the the, the, the collar area of the Nike shirt, the the, cool. the South Korea shirt. Well, it's kind of like the England jersey. I think exactly. theirs is based off the 1966. <coughs> 1966, right? And same for France as well. And it's like they're going for the the the, the ode to the tra- the um the training gear. And by the way, we got to talk about this, and I'm going to address this right now. Uh, we're gonna let's put the fun for like aside for a second. Let me get a little bit serious. With respect to the Nike England gear, there was a lot of outrage, especially in England, because of the St. George's Cross on the back on of the, the neck. back of the collar right, area. Right. So that collar area, they changed the color uh, of, of the, the stripes. horizontal. Right. One. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The horizontal stri- the stripes, and it sparked a, pu- a a public outrage, not from the people first. It actually sparked the outrage from the political side of things, from the politicians. And they were saying that not only was Nike and the FA disrespecting the St. George's Cross, they were dis- disrespecting the tradition and the history of England, and they were going off. They were going right. off. Rishi, right. Rishi Sunak, whatever. And, it, and Jimmy, I know this is a little sensitive, and I, I'm going to include the, again that we don't get political on here. We don't like talking about politics. We're not even English. Yeah, we're not even English. So I don't even think we have a right to talk about it, but we do have a right to talk about it because there's no rules. <laughs> the fact <laughs> that they were so upset about that cross, and Joey right. Barton in particular was saying that it had like references to LGBTQ and whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. They were getting really, really outraged by it. And the amount of... So we're from, like you just said, Jimmy, we're from the States. Right? We're, mm-hmm. we're watching over. And obviously, our country has plenty of our own problems as well. Yeah. But seeing that reaction <clears throat> really sort of upset me because all these politicians, when it comes to answering the questions that need, needs to be answered the most, they cower. But when it comes to getting angry about a flag... And by the way, it, had, it has no reference to LGBTQ. That color, the color combination is also a O2, the, the, 1960, uh, the 1966, um, the training kit. Those color elements were part of the the stripes of the the track jacket. They were just throwing. They were just paying homage to the old English uh, the squad, and the tra- the and the tra- uh, and the training um, apparel as the element to serve as the homage. And these politicians were going crazy angry. Yeah, like they like there's. It took Marcus Rashford to feed the kids, in England, during a pandemic. Do better. That's all also. I, I know you're you're probably on edge right now. You're probably saying, John, stop it. Stop it. Okay. But I'll, I'll just say this. Do better. Because if you're upset about about a cross that was designed, of course, to pay, of course to pay homage to the English side, but you're taking that out of context and, and driving that conversation somewhere else, do better. And that'll that'll that's it. I won't say any more, Jimmy. I know you're gonna probably be like you what yeah I'll stop it just says good morning he says in regard to that cross debate I feel as though literally nobody would have cared if Nike didn't point it out and even and like even if they pointed it out or not just the fact that they got nothing else to talk about so they pick that and then they just get upset about it is so annoying I mean I personally I think little kit looks fire uh, it's fuego. I like it. The like France it. kit, the England kit, the Brazil kit. Um, <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get the South Korea kit. But those three kits, that, the aforementioned kits, uh, apart from South Korea. I ooh, think the England kit looks pretty fire. It's a, it's a very homage style <clears throat> to the olden. Yeah, it's got like a vintage energy yeah, to like it. Yeah, like the 90s, like back, you know, the Paul, Paul Gascoigne era. Oh, wow. You know them, them them names there, you know. The, you know, the old, the old. Pop collar. Yeah. You know? And like. The Gareth Southgate like, era. Like, for example, Harvey Elliott. He plays with his collar up. Yeah. So he played that that game against Brazil with his collar up, and all these these boobs were like, "Oh, like Harvey Elliott doesn't want to share the cross." No, you bozos. He just plays with his collar up. Like, grow up. Some of these people, man. I'm sorry, but they gotta grow up. 
There's so much better things that they can do with their energy and being positive rather than attacking people for something that has nothing, no connection. I'll stop there because you give me the look like you're telling me like, be careful. Oh, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. If you want, you, you can go. It's your career. Is that what you're sure, doing? It's, you. it's all you. Not me. Not me. Uh, HR says that a New England jacket is fire. Oh, we yo, we're gonna sp- yo. HBK's lazy eye also says I thought the colors on the England kit was referencing the new Budokai Tenkaichi game. <laughs> yo, have you ever played uh, Budokai Tenkaichi? I, I used to play Budokai back. Your favorite? In the day. Who's your favorite? You used to play with? I have no idea. I didn't know they had names. No, I'm talking about the who's your favorite character, DBZ character to play with. Oh, DBZ. Yeah. I have a soft spot mm. for Young Gohan. You're talking about Cell Saga, Young yeah, Gohan. Yeah, Cell Saga, Young Why? Gohan. Because that was the very first um, uh, story of Dragon Ball Z I saw as a kid. Oh, so it was like the one yeah, that left and the I could relate to Gohan because I am Gohan. You can relate to Gohan. Yeah, I need I need you to I'm list the right. I'm the hero. And Jack. then oh, wait, everyone on. hated the fact that they wanted to move off to, of Goku and go to Gohan. So now Gohan's a side character and Goku's still the main character. Chat, that's let me... Um, I feel like that's why I'm Gohan. I was supposed to be the main character. And then everyone there was outraged because they didn't want to see me as the main character. <laughs> they don't... They hating. Yeah, they you, don't want to see me win. Yeah, you know the whole story of the Cell Saga, right? I don't know. Like don't Goku, know. like in the original DBZ. Okay, but before you go on, let me just, let me just real quick. Chat, you guys let us know. If Jimmy was a DBZ character, who would it be? Absolutely. It would be me. But um, basically, you know, D- uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, the early stage of Dragon Ball Z, you know, it was all Goku. Okay. And then the creator um, of, Go- of Akira uh, Tori- Dragon Ball Toriyama, Z, he wanted to move the story off of just Goku. So he had Gohan become the main character, which is why, you know, when uh, Vegeta and they all come, like he starts to get, get a bigger role. And then obviously Goku dies and then... um. Gohan becomes a story. Did you wait? Did you just hear that? What? Did you just hear that? Say what? Did you? No, I'm saying. Did you just hear that? It's that was the sound of, of no one caring. No, no, that was no, no. What? That was the sound of 20 people walking out of the stream right now. They're closing the door behind us. Uh, easy ham in the chest. And then, and then, Gohan gets his main story, gets the Cell Saga, and that was supposed to be the start of Gohan series as the new main character. But then everyone was like, "Now nah, we still want Goku." So then, unfortunately, Gohan didn't get the spotlight after that. Like me. Like me. Well, you're the Goku of this show. No, you're definitely the Goku. I'm not Goku. I, I'm not I'm not Goku. You're Goku. I'm you who's that guy that came with Vegeta? Oh. Who's the guy Raditz. that came Rat no 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 Raditz is the Is it Raditz? You're talking about that big ball. The ball guy. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Raditz? I think so. I don't know. Is it Raditz guys, but Anyway, um, Easy Ham in the chat says, uh, <laughs> your take on the new Nike Korean jersey. So like we, <coughs> like we discussed earlier on in the stream, we said that those color uh, combinations, the color blocking rather, is an homage to the old training gift for Nike, uh, for South Korea Nike gear. Uh, I am personally, I'm a bit skeptical, but I'm not, I'm not against it. Because those, those are the type of kits where you have to see it in person. Yeah, but I, I, I'll say this. I'm not a fan of it. Okay. Which uh, is what you have again, every right to feel that way. Yeah. Napa. Napa. Oh, not Raditz. Sorry. Napa. Yeah. Someone said um, Jimmy would be Ma- Master Roshi is what HS says. Yeah, you definitely yeah. got Master Roshi. That pervert Absolutely. energy. Do your best, Master. Say my bad right now. <laughs> my bad. Say my bad right now. My bad. That was a little right fun. That was, a, that, was a little, that was a little messed up. That was fun. That was a little messed up. I mean, that's Master Roshi. That was a little messed up, though. That was Master Roshi. That was a little messed up. You call me Jiraiya. What's wrong with your eye? I didn't say the. I didn't say the reason. His I, name is Edo Senin. Yeah, but I didn't. But that's part of his character. But I didn't say that's why. It's the same thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. At least Jiraiya gets mad cool scenes. So all does Master Roshi. Ro- all Roshi gets is the very first time he comes on. He goes, and then yo, when that, Roshi, yo, when Master Roshi popped his first Kamehameha, you are talking about the one where then, he goes? Like, what, he's, like, he just, what, what's sh- another memorable moment after that? Um. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You so have, you're saying Jiraiya you, clears Roshi? Absolutely. As a sensei, he I, Jiraiya definitely does more for Naruto than Ro- uh, Roshi does for Goku. No? Yeah? Because what does Roshi do after teaching him Kamehameha? Well, that's very true, actually. That's very true. He's just there. He's just there. <laughs> He's just there. <laughs> Taking uh, a spit. Oh, my God. Uh, Dwayne Mulanda says, I hope I ain't late. You ain't late, brother. He also says, bro, my hometown team, Nashville SC, got whooped. 
five nil by LAFC. It could have been ten going through it, bro. Jesus, five nil. Dang. Oh, Jimmy, let's real quick. We gotta talk about the MLS. MLS. Yeah. Major League Soccer. Yeah. Does this sound crazy? In chat, let us know as well. Does this sound crazy that we don't pick an MLS team and just kind of support the MLS as a whole? I, I support the MLS and I have a team. Okay, but my, okay, but you, you know what I'm saying? You have a team, but mm-hmm. I'm saying I don't really have a team like that. So is it crazy to say that I just support the MLS, like watching good MLS football? Like, is, is that wrong for me to say that? Or should I have an allegiance to a team? Like, of course, I'm going to have special bias for my New York teams because it's New York, right? Of course, I want to see New York do well. But then people are going to go, oh, are you Red Bulls or are you NYCFC? Is it wrong for me, not, is it wrong for me to not pick? You what do you pick? No, I'm, I don't want to pick. You don't want to pick? Like, I just want to show love to all the MLS clubs, and I just want to show love to both New York clubs. Is that wrong? That's a bit wrong. Oh, I see. You need, you, that's need a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit of a cop. Like, you can do the same thing while having a team and supporting them. Okay, so but what I'm saying is maybe if one season Red Bulls goes to the semifinals or the finals, yeah. I'll, I'm freaking backing Red Bulls yeah. all the way. But, I mean, it's the same but does thing. that mean if the next season, if NYCFC goes to the finals or semifinals, I can't back them? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing. You are a fan of United. but I know, but I know, but I know. A whole fan I of... Know. I know, but I'm saying in the MLS, can it be different from me? No. Why not? There's no rules. Because then if you're going if you're gonna be So I have sport, to pick a team. Yeah. Why can't I just pick the league? Because that's how Americans sport. watch sports. No. Excuse me? No. Excuse me. There's a lot of people that, that sure like the like the league, but there's a bigger allegiance to a team and the league than just the league itself. Okay. Specifically referencing NBA in particular, mm-hmm. the majority of the NBA fans yeah. follow players rather than the team. So then are they so supporting why can't the I, team or the league? They're supporting the league because the players played in the league. But if the player left that league, would they still support the league? No. That's why so they, then they're that's why they support the league. Player. They, no, that's why they support no, they're the supporting league. the player. Not no, the they league. won't watch the player. No, if they Like if the Dwight player, Howard goes to Taiwan. No, but if they supported the league, they do the same thing where if they're in L.A. and they supported just Steph Curry mm. and they supported the league like you. He's even not, if he's, they by did, the way, he's not in L.A. Oh, sorry, in uh, San Francisco. Yeah. And he, they didn't make it, but L.A. Lakers made it. Would they still support? Like you're saying, if you're a Red Bulls fan and an NYCFC fan. Okay, you're right. I don't think they would. Exactly. But my point is, why can't I just do what I want? Because it's not allowed. By, by whose laws? My laws. <laughs> Gohan's laws. <laughs> Gohan's laws. <laughs> on, on the behalf of all fans, it's a cop-out. It's right. a cop-out. All right, whatever. Let's see what the chat says. cop-out. Guys, what do you guys think? Do you think John can just be supporting the league or should Cause he? Because like, cause when it comes to supporting, right, the only club I truly support is, is Manchester United. Like When it comes to watching other football, like, uh, like other leagues, I just can't fall... Like, I, it's almost as if to say, like, it's not that same level of, like, emotional, you know what I mean? No, I get that. So, like, why can't I, I just that. watch it a little more casually? I mean, if you, wanna, if you want to watch it casually. And just support the betterment of MLS. But what I'm saying is, you have to pick a team. I don't want to pick a team. Uh, you have There's to no rules. You no have rule. to pick a team. There's someone on your side, though. Nick, I want to say Albany. I hope that's right. Nick Albany says, in my opinion, you don't have to support a team. I'm Dutch and a United fan, but I don't really support a team in my home country. I just hope that they do well in European competition. That's my point. That's no, no, my no. point. No, 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 but that's different. Why is that different? That's the, exactly what I'm saying. Because that's Nick. You're not Nick. I'm John. You, John Shin, needs to, Nick, needs to pick a team. No, I, I like Nick's comment. You need to pick a team. I like your comment too, Nick. So I need you to pick a team. <laughs> HS says, John is about the good vibes. When he sees it, he will appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, good vibe, bringing good energy <laughs> to New York. What's, the, what's wrong yeah. with that? Wonju Man says there's no rules. Yeah, so there's no Right, but there's no rules on my side either. So you need to pick a team. Uh, whatever. That's all I'm saying. Someone said... Um, I was whooping the chat. says, Kid Gohan was peak. Absolutely peak. Um, thank you. Wait, I, I wanted to... Re- can you scroll up a little bit? I want to see when I asked the chat to compare... Who the would special you- one says, I only support United, no other club, and no international. Dwa- see, the special one Dwayne says, don't support NYCFC. That's City's group. See, so like, I can't support NYCFC because they're affiliated yeah, to Man City. Yeah, so Red Bulls. That's your team now. Nice. Although it's hard, though, because NYCFC actually is making a huge stadium in Queens. Oh, wait. Well, here, so, so as, as crazy as it sounds, right? NYCFC have been doing a lot. And I'm not saying Red Bulls have not been because Red Bulls also do a lot. They do, that's what I love about both, the, uh, both clubs is they do a lot for the community. Mm-hmm. They could be doing more, mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. but they do a lot for the community. Mm-hmm. NYCFC, what they did, what I personally think was the one of the biggest moves from a community charity perspective was they partnered up with uh, the Parks and Recs here, and they opened a lot of football pitches around the five boroughs. I think that is incredible. Mm-hmm. Also, if you go around Queens, you see a lot of like of the kids teams yeah. being supported by NYC. Yeah, yeah, they do a lot for the football community yeah. here. Mm-hmm. And I love that, especially in a city that's so scarce when it comes to availability of football mm-hmm. pitches. Mm-hmm. I love that they do that. Mm-hmm. But but Red Bulls, again, like I said, in terms of sense of community, they do a lot of events. For example, like yeah. uh, on Thanksgiving, they gave out free turkeys. Yeah, That's mm-hmm. crazy. That's a lot of, that's yeah. a lot of turkeys. Gobbledy, yeah. gobbledy, gobbledy. By the way, my uh, by the way, my New Jersey uh, colleagues told me that they have turkeys just roaming in their backyard, like wild turkeys. Huh? That's crazy. Just a pack of wild turkeys just walking around. Just what, like, do you know, oh. Ball? What's a pack of wild turkeys called? I don't know. And before you say that, let me look it up real quick. You can't. What the heck? Let me look it up real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna read some more comments because I uh, as once, I look that up, I want to see some. Uh, I asked you guys what would Jimmy's uh character be, and um, the special one said Majin Buu. <laughs> Yo, Majin Buu's lit. I, I'll eat you up. Oh, that sounded really weird. I'm sorry. Yo. Uh, okay, what is a group of turkeys called? I don't know. You gotta give me a hint. Oh, well, I mean, they're birds, right? A pack, a flock. There you go. It says they could also be called ra- a rafter of turkeys. A rafter of turkeys? But most likely called a flock of turkeys. Yeah, well, they, imagine just lit. imagine just a bunch of turkeys just chilling in your backyard. <clears throat> it's crazy. Let and they were, telling, and they were telling me that their neighborhoods have turkey problems. And deer problems. I like used to have population. Control. I used to have deer problems back in um, Pennsylvania. So apparently, they said we that there's like a specific point where they can just they like they they like encourage the population to go cull the population. That's crazy. I never had to cull no population in my life, but I will say I almost got hit by a deer once. You got hit by a deer. Yeah. So I need I you to explain to, that. I have you ever watched the movie? Um, it's a movie. Uh, that the like Jack the Ripper comes out, I think. What? Like it, it's the movie where Jack the Ripper comes out. I don't know. Something like that. But it's like one of the scenes is they're in a cornfield and the characters are running around and then you know he the main the main villain comes in and then you know starts some of the pe- some of the characters and <clears throat> me I was watching with my friends mm-hmm. we we're watching at like one in the morning mm. we finished watching and you saw there's a cornfield behind my house and at this time the cornfield was actually the stalks the corn stalks was actually grown. So we're like, bro, we should all go inside the cornfield. So we left at two in the morning. And mind you, it was in my area, there's no light pollution. So like uh-huh. the stars and the moon bright. Uh-huh. So like even at night, you could see really well. Uh-huh. And I remember we were like, let's do this. And we went into the cornfield and then we're all next to each other. And then all we start hearing is whoosh, whoosh, and we're like, yo, is that you? No, that, that was. Uh, and then it was like, no, it wasn't. It wasn't me. And then you hear we're like, what the heck is that? And then all you hear is the the. Of the deer is running through the cornfield next no, to us. No, that's the no, that's, that's crazy. No, that's the uh, the hidden stone village ninjas attacking our hidden leaf village. Are you saying Pottstown is your village as well? Oh shoot, no, that's not what. Thank you. Um, Wanju man sent me a text of uh-huh. who Jimmy's character is. Uh huh. Is it Yajirobi? I don't know. Is he one of the? Let's give you give me your force. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Ginyu Force? Woo! I'm doing that again. Woo! <laughs> is that not Ginyu Force? And then isn't there one in the middle that goes like <laughs> Is that not Ginyu Force? Oh my <laughs> Yo, today's stream is unhinged. Is that not Ginyu Force? That though? is Ginyu Force. Uh, nice, no, nice. I'm laughing because you killed it. That was <laughs> sick. That was uh sick. HBK's uh lazy eye says, Are the turkeys Turkish? A hmm. hey, lazy eye. That's I wonder why they're called smart. turkey. Great question. No idea. Skinny in the chat says, "Crazy how this convo changed to turkeys." Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You, Today, today's no guys. What, chat what by the way. Chat, chat by the way. If you guys are here for the first time, because we're seeing some new, like uh, some of the people, maybe if they, maybe they're like not as frequenters. Today is an unhinged show. Mm-hmm. We're just chatting whatever you guys want to chat about. Absolutely. How since whoop? Thank you. You're on my side. Just, you gotta pick. Rivalries are what makes fans passionate. But I'm picking the league though. What does that mean? That's such. That's a. That's like if you told me to pick a team because you're so passionate about United. I said I'm just an EPL fan. You could be that. No, there's no rules. No, there's no rules. So pick. See, that's the double. See, edge. I'm I'm negating your. There's no rules with my. There's no rules. 
No, I'm negating yours. No rules. No, no I'm doing your, your. I'm doing it. And then I'm gonna negate your negation. Then I'm gonna my negation. Back, and then I'm gonna negate the negation of the negation of the. Negation. And this is why you have to pick. <laughs> I don't want to pick. You gotta pick. If I pick, if I pick an MLS club, it has to be a. New what if? Can what I? If, how, can I? How about this? Can I pick both New York clubs? No, because then what if both of them call you for something? What do you mean in terms of like work? Yeah. What if? What if they're like, yo? I mean, the Red Bulls. Are you good vibes? I'm good vibes. And he says, we want your good vibes for just our team. And you're going to be like, nah, I'm a league fan. <laughs> <laughs> no. When do I ever go, nah, no, I'm a league fan. No, I'm sorry. I'm just a league fan. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Look, chat, we're getting a little serious. Just a little bit. Oh. My goal as soon as possible mm. is to get this man paid. Because he's been working I am so... I paid. I know. I know. I, sp I spent a lot of money on your stupid... Anyway, uh, but I would love to get this man paid. If uh, one of the clubs say, hey, uh, you know, we want you to come do some good vibe stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. And they're, they're giving us... Just little, for us. But but they're giving us this. Uh -huh. And then that means I can get you paid. Uh-huh. I'm doing this. Conversely, then. Okay. But I'm not picking that team because... Where, I'm Leo's goals was in here, right? Yeah, well... What if, what would you do? Oh, here we go. This is a, uh, this, 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 is no, oh, this is never that. Oh, this is never that. Oh. This is never that. I know where this is going. I'm a little scared. Liverpool. Okay. Ding, ding. Yeah. By the way, did I, did you guys know, depending on your age, how you pretend to pick up a phone is how you can tell how old you are. Really? Yeah. It's, say, I say, pretend you're picking up a phone. How are you doing it? <laughs> you know how kids do it these days. Oh. You know how kids do it these days. Ring. <laughs> Hello? This is how, <clears throat> if you ask kids. Oh, you're talking about the hand motion. Into, oh, yeah. I think you're talking about the if, you, if you are our age, you know, mm. millennial, mm. you know, born in the 90s, mm. even born, more born earlier in the 90s, mm. this is the go-to. Oh. Why? We had flip phones. These days, kids, if, they, if you ask they them to. Like this? Yeah, they go, hello? That's so lame. Guys, put us put in the chat. That's so lame. Put in the chat if you if you do this when you answer your phone, like pretending to answer a phone, or if you do this. Because this, this is this is the if you want to be young and hip, this is how you do it. Because okay. if you do this, all the kids they're okay, gonna so, know. So if this is I have to be young and hip, I have to do this. Yeah, if you're young and hip and someone says pretend you're picking up a phone, you gotta this is this this is for you to know. Okay, call, call me again, I'll, I'll pick it up. Okay. John, hello. Hello? See that you're already wrong. You know why? Because you don't pick up with ring, ring. You gotta do the, the iPhone noise. Dun, dun. Oh wait, that's not. What the f? What was? If you got, if you went like two more notes, I would have, I would have like what? My guy went ding. <laughs> you know what happened? <laughs> My brain glitched. And I was gonna do the <laughs> the DBZ intro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh. Either way, Valtiti's um, corner. What's up? He says I was at England Brazil game yesterday, and it was Whoa. the single most boring game I've ever witnessed, <laughs> at least on the English side. And I predicted the result correctly. I'm a United fan, but I'm getting into Championship League One and Two football. Right. So, like, let's say, like, if you're a United fan, right? You can have a you can support the championship like just no, wanting whoa, to watch whoa. good football in the championship. Yeah, but that's all within the same pyramid of FA. I know. So that means even if we're Manchester United fans, God forbid they go in the championship, we're still United fans in the championship. Okay, but that's different though. No, that's not. Different. No, that's different because now you're getting too techie with the hypotheticals. No, I'm just I'm just saying if Man United were in the championship, if he said he's he, if he said he's okay, like United for example, Maltiti's for example, for, in Maltiti's case, right? Yeah. He's a Man United fan yeah. currently in the Prem. Yeah. God forbid in some multiverse, yeah. Man United go down to the championship while he's currently a, a championship yeah. fan. Yeah. Then at that point, he doesn't become a cha the 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 Man United fan in him supersedes the championship fan, so that disappears until Man United go back to the Prem. Yeah. So he's a United fan, not the league's fan. Yeah, I know, but okay, but but this is my point: is you're getting too techie. If Man United go to the championship, then he, then he just no, by default the I, number one no, priority. But what I'm is, saying is he's he's a United fan, but he's getting into the rest of the leagues in United in England. But he, his number one is still United. If he said he was a United fan, but he you know he's watching Bundesliga now, he's watching League One now. He's like, let you know what? That's cool. 
I just want you to pick a team, okay? I just want you. I don't want to pick a team. Pick a team. You can't. You can't make me. You can't. I'm. You can't tell me what to do. Fan. I'm a union fan. Yeah, because you're from Philly. Absolutely. Yeah, and so you're uh, you're also a, a 76ers guy. Uh huh. Eagles What's guy. The, you're a Phillies guy. Yeah, Phillies guy. Yeah, and you only you don't even watch half those games. No, I watch a bunch of those games. You don't watch half uh, those well, games. Sixers? You don't watch the Eagles games. Eagles games. You, I watched about like half of them last season. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Cap. Uh, Guarantee no, no, no. you. No, you didn't. I, I I watched about half of them. You don't know football like that. American football. I can name at least two players from that team. Okay? <laughs> In an NFL squad, you know how many players there are? I can't. Mike. No, Mike. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Mike. W- what about Mike? Yes. <laughs> yes. He's the kicker. Oh, you're naming the player. You don't even <laughs> know. It's less. I think you were talking about our Mike. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're Dolphins, man. <laughs> No. Wait, well, so that's another example. Our good friend Mike. He's, he's from New York. Guy, and Mike, he supports Miami this, Dolphins. I, I don't know why you're a Dolphins fan. Come on. Why, I mean, look, why but there's no rules, though. He can do whatever I he wants. I guess not. I guess not. I mean, we're, I, you know what? We're United fans. and That's what the, that's yeah. the only thing that matters yeah. to me. But we have a connection to United. Fuck your zone. Yeah. This man has no connection. He's never even been to Florida, I think. Yeah, maybe he hasn't. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Scottish Taco says, went to the New York Derby in 2022. Those guys hate each other. I don't think you can support both. Hashtag get Jimmy. That's why I'm not going to support both. I'll just show love to them. Because it's not about supporting the team. It's about show- supporting the league. And right, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Are you a supporter of the Premier League? Yeah, I am a supporter of the Premier League. So if Liverpool... Uh, shoot, here we go, okay. <laughs> Liverpool come call it. Uh-huh. You going to show them love? No. So let... Okay. I will show them respect. So there's a difference. Respect, love. Like, you know how like you can say, I love a player, and I got love for a player? There's a big difference there. Uh, explain it to me. It's like, I, I don't... I'm never going to say, I, uh-huh. I love, for example, Kevin De Bruyne. He's a Man City player. I don't love him. But I got love for him. You know what I'm saying? That's like a, that's like a, that's like a, there's a, there's a clear difference there. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back into the comments. Okay, let's keep Eric Kanavathi says, hi, John and Jimmy. Try mimicking the old school Motorola phone. Motorola. Oh the Motorola God. phone with a huge ass battery you need to attach to the phone and you, you need to pull you, the antenna to I don't get the reception remember. working. I don't remember how. how Is the, the Motorola phone not the one that, the, the one that goes. It looked like a brick. It went. Hello? It looked like a break. Uh, HBK says, can you support the Knicks and the Nets? Same thing. Can you support the Knicks and the Nets? No, you can't. So then, but you want to support Red Bulls and NYCFC. But if here's the thing with New York fans, right? Yeah. If there's a superstar in the Knicks and if there's a superstar in the Nets, it, does, it doesn't matter who they support. Like, I mean, look, I'm not saying everybody's like that. Of course, there's this hardcore Knicks fans who would never go to a Nets game. Mm-hmm. Like like any serious, passionate sports mm-hmm. fan. Unless they're playing But there's other. a lot more, yeah. But there's a lot more uh, <coughs> on a regular basis of fans just going to the games because they want to. S- so sorry. Maltiti says, you're a girl. I am so sorry. Maltiti. Cool. So Maltiti is a lady and you call, you call her a guy? We both did. Your fault. <laughs> How did you not know Maltiti's name is a girl's name? No, she said my name is unisex though. So you should have known. By the way, I you're the comments guy. I usually don't bring up. Gen- uh, you you said he first, so don't matter. Ball. Don't matter. Yeah, uh, go- you say it. It doesn't matter. Like I see. Don't do this. I'm just saying, Maltiti. I'm so sorry. We are so sorry. Well, he is sorry because he's in charge of the comments. Yo, can, can you force again? Can you force it? Come here, ready? Oh, okay. Which one, which which one, one do you want, you want me to do? Because I don't really know him like that. You, since you're, since you're here, you got to do this one. So I'll go way. this way? Yeah. And then I'll go this way. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wait, what? What did you do with the mic? Just like this? I think so. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. Okay. All right. We're definitely, we're, <sighs> oh my God. Uh, yes. What's going on? I don't know. Today's show is boring. Cooper says, my ringtone is the Princess Leia theme. Let me hear you imitate. What's the Princess Leia theme? Oh. Uh. <laughs> What's the Princess Leia theme? Where were you going with ba? Ba, 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 ba. No, that's just a regular Star Wars. I don't know. 
Uh, House and Woo, as you're thinking of the Princess Leia <laughs> theme, uh, House and Woo says, I'm a DC United fan from childhood by default, but when I got into football, I became a United fan. I'm a supporter of my local club, but I'm a fan. That's me. I'm a United fan, but because I was born, bred, and raised in Philly, I'm always going to support my Philly teams. Yo, okay, first of all, you weren't born, bred, and raised in Philly. I was born. I'm, I'm not going to get no, into no, no. I'm not going to get into No, gonna, I was born in the Philadelphia hospital in the middle okay, of Philadelphia. But you weren't that's like you, that's but like you me, weren't bred no, and raised. That's like me saying you're not from Seoul, even though you were there for a few years. I lived that's there till I was 10. I lived there since I was four. Time out. Time out. You didn't live in Philly. No, I lived I lived in Philly until I was four, and then I moved out of you Philly. You didn't live four. in Philly like that. No, I live I lived born bred. What and did what did born what bred did Prince um a Bel Air say? West Prince Philadelphia. Of Bel Air. <laughs> the the fresh Prince of Bel Air say. My guy said West Philadelphia born and bred. No, he said born and raised, you idiot. <laughs> West Philadelphia born and raised. And the, I don't know, that's all I know. You forget <laughs> Anyway. I was I was born. You uh, live, let me let me finish. Let me. I was born in Philly. You know why you're doing this? You know why you're you know why you're born you, in you know Philly. You know you get rattled because you know where I'm going Philly. with this. Yeah. yeah, but I was born in Philadelphia hospital. Yeah, and as soon as you were ready to leave that hospital, you left. No, no, no. I was born in that Philadelphia hospital. Lived in Philadelphia yeah. for the first year. Okay, had some family. And then where'd you happen. go after? And then I went to downtown South Philly for three years. And then you went. Yeah. Let me just yeah. say. Okay. You, okay. Uh, for the majority of your younger days. Yeah. You lived. In the middle of nowhere. Okay. Not in Philly. Okay. So you weren't born, bred, and raised in Philly. Doesn't matter. I was born, bred, and raised in Philly. I was born in Philly. I, you, Did you spend more of your time in Seoul or in New York? Guys, if you guys are very interested, uh, if you, of course New York. Are you absolutely. Crazy? So uh, what, would you, what would you say if I said you were not from Seoul? Would you feel some type of way? No, but but here's this is your problem. No, no, no. I didn't say I was born, bred, and raised in Seoul. No, I was born, bred. See, this, this, say my bad right now. I was born, lost. bred, say my and right raised now. in Philly. I'm a Phil. I'm a Philly this is your, native. This is, this is you stupid. I'm a I Philadelphian. Never, I never said that. I'm a Philadelphian. You a New Yorker or you a soul? I'm both. Uh uh-uh. uh I'm both. No, no, you're, you're not both. You're soul. You're born and bred and raised in soul. No, I'm born and bred in soul, but raised in New York. There's the difference. No, 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 no. No, no, there's, there's you, difference. You're not. You're not. See, you see, I, you're not. I was born. This is why. This I was is, born. This is why you I, can't no, be. No, 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 no. I was born, bred. And occasionally went to Philly to get raised. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maltiti's Corner says, I want to get tickets for the United Tour, but I don't want to do it alone. I want to go with my son. And it's not cheap, so I'm saving up for either a 2025, 20, 26 tour. Hopefully they do an African tour soon. That sounds incredible. Uh, it, it, the, the tour price, honestly, uh, I, I really feel like... Um, Maybe Man United could do a little bit more in terms of being a bit more flexible and a bit more, I guess, accommodating because it is very expensive. Let's be real. Uh, mm-hmm. But I think that's the that's I think that goes with all tours, like yeah. all the teams coming. Yeah, it's cut. You know whose fault it is? It's America's fault because we charge crazy rates for yeah. everything. Yeah, you know how much we gotta pay to take a flight that's like an hour and a half away from us. Literally, literally. Less than 10 years ago, a flight from here to Boston was $80, $90. Now, that same flight, $300. Just drive it. Just drive no, it. I know, but I'm... Just drive it. <laughs> I'm getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> HGK's Lazy Eye says, Philly cheesesteak, lads. DB Cross says, Jimmy, do you bleed cheesesteak if so you're Philly homie he doesn't even he, doesn't, he don't even rate cheesesteaks like that I love it more than him the hell say my bad right now what's your favorite cheesesteak just in general like my, my you're spot? from Philly well back in the day when I was passing Geno's I was a, I was a Geno steak uh, cheesesteak all day <sighs> Geno steak Pats all day Geno's this is how you know he's not a, na- he's not a <clears throat> native Philly guy no Pats and Geno's no Pats and Geno's back in the early 2000s was a hit now people like you from New York saying, oh, I know food. I know cheesesteaks. It's not Pats and Geno's. <laughs> you rattled, fam. <laughs> I'm rattled. I'm, I'm absolutely right. I'm rattled like a baby rattle right now. you shaking me up and it's rattling me. This guy didn't even, this guy didn't even know what Pats and Geno's was when I was eating it. That's very true. You exactly. know why? Because I was born, bred, and raised... From Seoul in New York. Why'd you stop there? Because I, I, you said you said I born bread. I didn't deliver went, that. He went right. born bread. I didn't deliver it's, that right. Oh, you make bad right now. 
Let's go that right now. There you go. Maltiti's corner says, "Yes, I have realized American tickets are crazy, absolutely." Which is which is crazy because like if you watch sports in general in the states, there are some that like, are pretty cheap. Like you can get baseball tickets for like less than forty bucks. Yeah, but, but then some tickets like. like but I guarantee you. But I guarantee you though. Like for example, recently uh, the Dodgers and the Padres went to Korea to play in the tour, right? Yeah, those I, ones are crazy. I guarantee those prices are crazy too. Probably, and, but that's that's why the Probably. the price premium gets hiked because they're bringing the game to you. Yeah, yeah. so I do understand from a marketing perspective why the prices yeah. have to be the market the prices. Yeah, it's just I wish America didn't cost so damn much. Absolutely, DB Cooper says Wiz with the cheesesteak, Jimmy. I like Wiz with it. Wiz with I I I personally like Wiz. I think okay. It, so on your cheesesteak, what are you getting? Okay, cheesesteak. Yeah, yeah. Getting the steak. Yeah. Getting the cheese. Yeah. Getting some grilled onion. Mm. If I'm really feeling it, mm. peppers. Mm. I, I know a lot of people get mushrooms as well. I think you get mushrooms yeah. particularly. I, do, I I like certain mushrooms. Yeah. I don't like the mushrooms they use in like the regular mushrooms. What are, are those? Those aren't shiitake mushrooms. Lame. Are they? lame. <coughs> Either way, lame. They're just portobello. Porto, yeah, I'm not a big <coughs> portobello fan. Yeah, you lame. That's why. Get cheesesteak. Whiz wit all day. Grilled onions and grilled mushrooms, diced on the grill. Laid off the top. And if I'm a little naughty, a little bit of peppers. I'm talking jalapeno. I'm not talking about like those bell pepper cherry little, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking jalapeno, right? And I'm not done yet. Not done yet. On top of that, you know what you put on there? Extra whiz. This is why he's not a true Philadelphia. Why? He's putting way too much on it. I do whatever I want. You put, yeah, but that's I do not the want. true Philly way. What's the true Philly way? Cheese steak. I don't care. I don't care. The whiz. I do whatever I want. It's yeah, that's why you're not born, bred, and raised in Philly. I'm not. I never exactly. said I was. So stop it. I'm rattled. Machiel. <laughs> Machiel gifted one membership. Thank you, Machiel. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maltiti's Corner dropped a hot one. She said a flight to Barcelona return ticket is 32 pounds. <gasps> what the F? From 32 pounds. I, I, I'm assuming Maltit is your uh, name, but Mal, how, where are you based? Because 32 to return. You know how incredible it is? When from I was, Barcelona? Are you sick? When I went are to you England, mad? Like last time by myself, I went, to, I, 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 took, I, I went to Manchester and then I went to visit my friend in France, in Paris. That flight was 90, 90 pounds from Manny to France. That's crazy. Imagine paying 90 pounds to go to France. That's crazy. I would do that all day, every day. I would do that all day. Uh, you can even take a train to France, right? Yeah, you expensive? can even drive to France too from England. That's freaking crazy. Bart in the chat <clears> says, <throat> flying is expensive in Europe too, but not as expensive as the US. The price for tickets for sporting events in the US is crazy. I would hope that the price for cricket games would be reasonable. He also says, Henderson looks good in red and white. He excelled at Sunderland, won it all at Liverpool, and us now helping I are talking about Henderson season strongly. I don't know. If it's your favorite player. All things point to the fact that the next chapter is MUFC. <laughs> Uh, crazy Bart, Bart out here moving brazy crazy can I just say yeah I think there's a there's been a lot of I don't know why recently but there's been a lot of debate on social media yeah about you know people from the UK or people from Europe you know saying Americans aren't well traveled yeah but I will say this I know why I know why you're ta- saying that because I saw that TikTok video of the guy who was explaining that yes. America's so big but I'm just saying this in regards yeah to Maltiti saying that it was a 32 pounds again mm-hmm. Have not you guys are based? You're based in London. Okay, the fact that you can even take and think of going to Barcelona and going back to London and it being thirty two pounds. Where can you go for thirty two pounds in America? You cannot. It, it's you crazy. Cannot. It's crazy. I don't get it. You cannot. It's like it's the same distance from London to um yeah from London to uh Barcelona or London to France. It's not that far. Like they're not that far. It's not. It's just like the same as New York to Boston. No, Boston, that's probably even longer than... Yeah, yeah exactly. It's but my, crazy. But my point is, it's like, imagine paying $300, pounds, uh, $300 for a flight to Boston. Absolutely crazy. Freaking Boston? Yeah. And this is You're why... You're going from London, one of the yeah. greatest cities in the world, to Paris, to Barcelona, two of the other greatest cities in the world. No disrespect to Boston, but it ain't no London, New York, Paris. You, why'd you say Boston like that? <laughs> I don't know. My, my tongue was just... I, I just want to say for everyone in Europe saying, you know, you know, Americans are... Like, you can travel all around America... And it would take longer than traveling around Europe. So, so just to add some context, what Jimmy is saying is there was a video of a guy, a TikTok video that went viral of a guy who was explaining 
uh, he's from, I think he was from England. He was explaining to fellow Europeans that one of the reasons why maybe Americans are, are less traveled is because they don't need to travel. When mm-hmm. they go on vacation, they stay in country because of how massive the country is. Yeah. And I do understand that comment from a geographical sense, right? Yeah. From New York to California is a six hour flight. It's yeah. a long ass flight. You could, in the time you can go drive even to, I think they said the drive from New York to um, LA. Mm. And if you try to do that in Europe, it would be from like from London all the way to the, the most west or the most east. east of Europe, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Who's driving that? That's what, no, but, but my point is, is like, yes, from a geographical sense, that makes sense, right? Because the country's so big, you can go visit all these places. Huh? But that still doesn't, that still doesn't answer the question. You know what I mean? Like, why are Americans less travel? Just because that's not traveling. Domestic travel is completely different from international travel. But you have to understand this. And I know where you're going saying like, you know, you, even though the U.S. is so big and you can f- visit everything, it's different from uh, international travel. But it's so hard when people in Europe can get a, a plane tri- a, a plane ticket from London to Barcelona for 32 pounds when that would be like a okay. thousand times more you're expensive. Right. You're right. From a price perspective, I understand. But but simply just all the, all the details and intricacies aside, when we're talking about the idea of travel, that's not – that doesn't mean – that they're more travel because they travel in the country. I don't think that equates to the same but, kind of travel. But this this goes into the same point that that guy was making. Is you're saying that because it's still within the country, it's not someone that's well traveled. For but me, if the entire country was split to different countries, then we wouldn't have be having the same argument, right? But but here's what here's my point. Because if you go from <clears throat> New York down to like let's say Texas, yeah. It is almost completely different as if you're going to a different country. Absolutely. You're so spot. That's a great point, Jimmy. But my point, here's what I'm saying, though. There is a level of comfort that you feel when you're still within the same country that speaks the same language, that has the same flag. These these concepts, they are uh, uh, not the same when it comes to literally just the idea of traveling across borders. No, that makes sense. But I will say this, you know, in regards to that. Technically, all the states have different flags. One. I'm talking about the country flag, you... And two. And two. There, Sure, there is comfort knowing that if you go from New York to Texas, you're still in the same country. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's different. It is different. It is so different. It is different. E, uh, and sure, like, if you, sir, if you went to... If you actually went to, like, Spain, mm. Italy, mm. it's different, too. Mm. But you could argue that it's almost just as different, mm. even though the language is the same. Mm-hmm. Just saying. I, yeah, I do just saying. I agree. Just saying, I, I don't think the language being different and, and the culture is all e- even different in different yeah. states. Yeah. So w- what really else different do you need? I'm not saying that you shouldn't travel internet. I think you should. You should take, a, you should take you know, the opportunity if you can to go travel to right. different countries. I think it's a great opportunity to expand your horizons. Right. But I'm saying it's not something that, you know, I think you should, you should, you know, say, oh, you, you've never, you've never been outside of the U.S., yeah. you know. I think, I think you're right. And I just want to conclude on because I think we've been harping on for this for a minute. But I just think it's a different kind of travel. But you can say you're traveled because like, you're, like you said, from New, a New Yorker having been to Dallas, having been to Austin, having been to New, San Francisco, having been to Miami. Like that's obviously being traveled. Don't get me wrong. That makes sense. But it's not the same kind of travel is what I'm saying. A different level. No, to I it. get it. I get it. And I, you're you're I kind of it. taking it to the next conversation. You're you're saying it has to do with the price. You're saying it has to do with the availability. Like, yeah, obviously. But I'm not going that obviously. far. I'm just talking about from the perspective but I'm just of the saying, definition. But I'm just saying, like, your your statement is valid. Of course, it, like traveling within your country and traveling out of it is very different. But I think the U.S. you know gets slack for still being just one country with people not understanding how big and how different each state is. Yeah, and how. You know, if you think about it, each state is basically its own country. I agree. And that if you went, of course, from New York to uh, Texas, sure, the language is the same and it's still within the state. But it's basically what I'm trying to say, the same as someone from London going to the Spain. I know, but like for, the differences. Me, for me, it's different. For me, like, I think there's a massive, like a big, big, big difference. And that's because I think you learn so much from traveling in terms of like opening perspectives. And I'm not trying to sound like this, like peace like peace to the world, like ho- like like holistic energy. I'm talking literally from the perspective of just kind of having a bit more of an open mindset. When you go to a country country where you're not comfortable, with, well, you, well, you're 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 put in a position where you're not having to rely on, you know, the things that you're used to. Like when I went to Paris, yeah, obviously there's a lot of people that speak English there, but it's obviously not American. They speak French. Let me just say this, yeah. Let me just say this. The only comforting thing about being going to Texas is just that I can speak the language. 
I'd still be like, I, I, if I went to Texas or if I went to mm-hmm. Paris, I'd still feel the same. I'd be like, yo, this is, it's, kind of, it's so different. I'm sure. Of course. So of course different. it's different. But I think there's different levels to that. Let me ask you this then. Are you only saying this because it's part of the U.S.? I'm not if only. Texas wait, hold on. No, you're talking. No, I'm not only. But you're you're making it sound as if I, I'm I'm like rejecting the claims of what we've just discussed. I do agree. Like, it is a complete different experience, and you are still traveling. I just don't <laughs> think it's the same level. So then, let me ask you this. And and let and, me ask you this: What country? You you didn't have to go to it. Mm. It could be a country you want to go to still. Mm. What country would you recommend someone to go to? Anywhere. Oh. What's, what's there to recommend? Like New Yorkers, go to London, go to England. You know what I'm saying? They speak the same language. It could, mm-hmm. honestly, it could be like a similar idea as to New Yorkers going to Dallas yeah. versus New Yorkers going to England. It's the same, they speak the same language, all that, but obviously culturally they're very, very, very different, right? But there's more similarities from a cultural perspective in terms of, you know, American culture versus UK culture that you won't experience in Dallas versus going to London. Or going to Manchester, even. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I like you. You try to take it. You always do this. You try to take it to the next level. I'm not let me doing just, that. Let me just say. You always bring the conversation. Let me as, just you, say. You talk as you want a date. We're just talking let about this. Say. I'm helping you practice. <laughs> I'm helping. You. I bought this slingshot. This. I bought this slingshot. Don't. In the you, I know what you want to do. You should put that down before we get flagged for inappropriate use of a potential. I thought, I put it down right now. Don't even joke about it. <gasps> I broke. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. All right. I broke. Um, Machiel says the best part of living in the Netherlands is not needing a car. I have not been inside a car in three years. And the last time was on vacation in America. It's cheaper, faster, and easier to bike or use public transit. I mean, to, in New York, it's also easier and, and, and cheaper to do public transport. Uh, transport. It's just, it's um, outside of New York. It gets a little techy. Mm, I see. Bart says, have you guys ever tried Oriental food? In this case, food from Lebanon, Jordan, Syria. As someone that doesn't eat meat, I was amazed to find some really good veggie options. So you're basically, or I guess maybe from where Bart's, where from Bart, where Bart is from, maybe he considers the the aforementioned countries to be Oriental, but for us, um, that's more like in the region of Middle East, right? Middle yeah. Eastern cuisine. I want to try Middle Eastern cuisine. I think it'd be really. I've good. never tried any of the countries that he named. I've there. tried. There's one Middle Eastern cuisine that I've tried. It was. Um, I've tried Afghani. Oh yeah, I've tried Af- Afghanistan food, and it was it was okay. It was good. Uh, my friend and I tried to go to a restaurant that. Wait, was what's recommend- the what's the Correct term, sorry. Is it Afghan or Afghani? I think it's Afghani food. Afghan food. So is it Afghan or Afghani? Afghan. Afghan? If we have any people watching that are from Afghanistan, tell us in the chat if it's Afghani or Afghan. Yeah. Um, HBK, one pound super chat. Thank you. So can I can I do this? Sure. Hey! Oh, what yeah, about, what cool. about the heart? Oh. Hey, thank right, you. But, okay, but here's your power now that you know you could do this, right? Yeah. You have to do either one or the other, depending on what your vibe is. No, you just said it was my power, so I'm going to do both. Okay, but it's my power to tell you you got to yeah, do Yeah, but it's my power to do what I want. Right, can you just... I'm doing one... Of, so I have to either thumbs up it or hard it? Why can't I do both? You can do both. Exactly, so I'm going to do both. Um, Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Thank you so much, HBK's Lazy Eye. We say this every time, but you guys you guys don't have to do that. We're like today's stream, to we're just time. out here just wilding, just blabbering. Yeah, we, we, we were talking about penguins. We were talking about traveling. That, we were by, talking by, about, by the way, that penguin, that was wild. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jimmy V says the different forms of shawarma are all perfection. Bart says, I just realized that Machiel has blocked me too. Oh, <laughs> David Cooper says, for travel, I'm going to Manchester for football, Asia for food, France for cycling, and Egypt and Lincoln. What is Lincoln County, New Mexico? Oh, for history. Never heard of Lincoln County. Sounds cool. Sounds very cool. Um, Bart says, I have been to Afghanistan as a young kid as my parent used to work for the UN. It is Afghan food. Afghani is the currency. Oh. 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 Afghan food. Afghan. I've tried Afghan food, and I've, I feel like I've actually tried Syrian food before. But I'm not sure. Maybe we should go try it once and, you know, film it. 
What are we doing after this? Are we going to go eat and film a j- come down with Jimmy, or are you going to go? You got plans? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, we've been going for a long time. It's long, been an hour and 11 minutes so far. Oh, wow. We've been going. Yeah, we've been going. HBK says, you're my first membership, too. Just for you, HBK. Ready? In you. In you. Did you do an actual thing, or did you just... Walk us through it. What is... You're doing the same sign every time. See, let me show you exactly what they're doing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now I'm getting... Oh, God. No, do it. You, you set it up. Do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. We are... Lil Yo-Yo says, what's your deli order? Oh, this is a great question. We talked about this ages ago, and I, I still feel like I'm in the right. But I've seen more and more that your side might be right as well. But we're talking about what's more popular at the deli in New York. Okay. A bagel yeah. or bacon, egg, and cheese. We had this conversation. I know. Yeah. And I'm on the bagel side. I think bagels much. Like if you went and talked to 10 people, bagel or bacon, egg, and cheese, I think they're saying bagel all day. No, they're not. On a, at a deli, you don't order bagel at a deli. You order bacon egg, and cheese on a on a roll. Why are you getting so mad? Come on now, don't why play you with so me. Mad because you from Philly, trying to talk like, like you know. You. That's like you that's trying like, to you, you, you don't don't show everyone your true nature, dude. See now, see they're, they're gonna believe that. <laughs> Say my bad right now because you this is this is your problem. Why are you causing problems? Bacon egg and cheese. Let me just say. It's all right. But oh, that's, it's not even about, is it all right? It's all about right. what's more popular at a deli. But you're right. You know, I am from Philly. I lived there for 16 years. Trying to years. teach me how to act like New so. York. How dare you? How dare Behave. How dare you? If you go, to, if you pull up you to know, a You know, technically, bar- you and I have lived in New York the same amount of time. I've lived in New York. When did you come to New York? 2009? Yeah. And how many years? How old were you in 2010? No, I came here in New York in 2001. So I've been here longer. So watch your mouth. Yeah, but you know, watch it. Watch your you know, ten stinky, years, dirty ten years. Is mouth. It really, is it really different? Res- is it really different? Is it really different? Are you done? Is it really different? That's all I'm asking. You, I cannot believe we had that conversation. You can, you New Yorkers don't go to a deli and say, "Let me get a bagel." I mean, they could. But more the more common phrase because the because the initial question was what's the order like what's the most what's the what's the order yeah that the comes order to it mind? wasn't deli it was just no it was deli no it wasn't deli then what was you, it then no the question the reason we brought this up way before is just I said New Yorkers probably would say bagels over bacon egg and cheese it, there was no deli in it it was just okay so my answer then was it depends on who you ask if exactly. you ask local like just chill like just like from the from the 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 more condensed from the parts of, from the more content condensed part of the areas you ask them what's your what's like what do you think of New York they're gonna say bacon egg and cheese they're gonna say chopped cheese and I said right? no man but if you ask the folks who live in Williamsburg or in Greenpoint whoa 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 no I'm saying it's a different regional I'm not I'm saying there's a different regional sort of decision making behind it they're gonna say bagel with cream cheese. But I will say this. I've seen a lot more bacon and cheese recently. So I feel like it's I'm leaning towards 50-50 now. It's, I'm leaning towards 50-50 if you think If you think bacon, egg, and cheese, that's New York. See, this is a difference, though. If you think New York... I can't believe we're having this conversation. You're thinking bagel. But if you've lived, breathed... Breathed? <laughs> breathed. I can't believe we're having this conversation. New York? It I might, be, call, it might I wa- be bacon, bacon I want to call Alexis, and I want to ask Alexis... Like, he would be furious that you're even talking about this right now. Is bacon egg and cheese... How about this? Let me call a couple friends, right? Right now? Yeah. All right, do it. If, how do I ask the question, though? Just be like, hey, if you if you were to decide mm-hmm. what... No, it's got to be shorter. Like, how do I... Be All like, right, then just say bagel or bacon egg and cheese. No, but, but that wasn't the initial question. Remember? Because it was like, what, what comes to mind? I was saying that, and you said it was too long. Okay, my bad. <laughs> say it. Say it I'll say, I was going to say, if you think of New York, do you think bagel or bacon, egg, and cheese? Bagel or bacon, egg, and cheese? Yeah. Okay. When it comes to New York. When it comes to New York, is it bagel or bacon, egg, and cheese? Okay. Wait, wait, wait I, this, this is unfair, though, because all your friends are like you. 
Yeah, New Yorkers. No. What are you gonna call your your homie from Philly? Yes. That's stupid. I'm gonna call. I'm, I'm calling New Yorkers. Just call one person right now. Um, and as you do that, little yo yo says, "I want to try chopped cheese." Never. I've never had a chopped cheese either. I've never had that. Um, HBK's lazy eye says McDonald's sausage, egg, and cheese. McMuffin. Skinny also says, "No, the first thing I think of New York is a bacon, egg, and cheese." I'm calling right now. I'm gonna. Um, Jimmy V says we have halal delis here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There's no way New York doesn't have a ton of okay, halal hold on. delis. You're on, you're on. You're on the show. I need. I need. I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay, you're live right now. Hold on. Who is it? What? You're live right now on my YouTube channel. You're gonna answer this question, okay? Jimmy, ask him the question. Oh, okay. Jimmy, okay. Who's this? Oh, yo, what's good, brother? Jimbo. Yo, what's good? All right. If you think of New York, yeah. Yeah. You thinking bagel with cream cheese or bacon, egg, and cheese? Oh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Thank you, you. mother. Thank you. Yo, get it, get I, yo, I ain't helping you anymore. You little absolute. Yo, we gonna we gonna have to talk after this because I swear to God. Yo, this guy. Give me more. You can't ask your blood brother. Okay, thank you. You can't ask your brother. I love you, Tom. Nope. So, who, so who am I calling? That's one. Call one more? You want me to call one more? This is like, this is like, I, I have to. I I'll have call to. one more. I'll call I'll, one more. I'll, I'll, I'll call someone too. Who? I'll call someone too. Oh, you call, you call. I'll call There's someone one, too. one, you call. I'll call someone too. Yeah, yeah, you call. I'll call someone too. I have no one to call. <laughs> <laughs> I'll how about this. I'll call a New York. I'll call a not New Yorker. Who's a not New Yorker that you can call? Uh, Mike. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call Jimmy V says happy Ramadan. By the way, happy Ramadan to everyone celebrating. Um, I hope you guys have a great, great day. Um, DB Cooper says the first thing I think of is pastrami or corned beef. HBK's lazy eye says John call Stephen A. Housen's whoop says like Brita from community. It's pronounced boggle. What? Boggle? Bagel. Bagel. <laughs> no, that's how Philadelphians pronounce bagel. It's bagel. Lil Yolo says, I caused a debate. Yeah, absolutely. Bart Ready? says, if I was Ashworth, I would sign the following players ASAP. Allison Van Dyke. Yo, you, you absolutely. See, Bart, see, can we time him out? For like 30 seconds? You can't do that. Bart. Can't be doing that. Can't, be, can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. You ready? You ready? Right, who you call? Get ready. <laughs> Is it a non New Yorker? Non New Yorker. Who do you know that's a non New Yorker? Non New Yorker. You gotta call your cousin? No, 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 no. You ready? Non New Yorker. Who is it? No, no, I'll tell you. Like, just sit down. I'll just, just get ready. Get ready. Guys, we have gone way over. Yeah, but, it's, but... Now, we're, now we're having a vibe. <laughs> Is a this vibe. a vibe? See, now we have to order bagels. I keep wanting to say bacon, egg, and cheese, so I keep saying bagels. But we need to get bagels and bacon, egg, and cheeses now. I want a bagel with ready? egg and cheese. Ready. Bacon, egg and cheese. Oh my God, are you ready? I'm ready. He's definitely not picking up. Skinny, we will get to your question right after this. And he's not picking up. Who is it? Yo, Ronaldo. Yo, what's good, brother? Yo, you're, you're on my YouTube live stream right now. I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Is that right? All right. Yes, all right. that's cool, man. Go on. All right, Ronaldo, first of all, thank you. Oh, when it comes to New York, right, what yeah. do you think is more appropriate for New York? Are you thinking New York bacon, egg, and cheese, or are you thinking New York bagel? And cream cheese. Mate, that's a tough one, mate. Bacon, egg, and cheese, or bagel? Like if you if you're thinking about New York, right? If you're thinking about New York City, what feels more appropriate? Like what feels like? What's the first thing that comes in your mind? Is it is it bacon, egg, and cheese, or is it cream? Is it or is it a bagel? Bagel, I would say. Oh, thank you, Ronaldo. All right, Ronaldo. I say bagel. Can you? That's can my you? Guy. That's my guy. I still have to buy you a coke for spilling yours last time. <laughs> All right, Ronaldo. Thank oh, you yeah, so much. Shit. I remember. Oh yeah. Now you no worries, man. Yo, are you are you coming over to for the tour? Um, is it, the tour's not in New York, is it? No, it's not. It's uh, but we're gonna be out there in in, in L.A. and uh, San Diego. We yeah, gotta vibe West, out. It's, I think it's Carolina as well. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm yeah. Not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure that I'm coming this time. But okay. Who knows? Maybe. All right, cool. We'll see. Yeah, we. I'd we, like. To, I'd like to. Absolutely. Yes, it was a vibe last time. <laughs> oh, it's it it what a trip. Yeah, what a trip. What a trip. Right, yo, Ronaldo, thank you so much. I'm sorry for calling you randomly, my man. Absolutely. Yeah, cool, man. Appreciate you. Thanks.
That's my guy. Wow, I can't. That's my guy. I told you it'd be 50-50. Okay, so but okay, so then we, I told you. So how do we how do we finish this game? We we, we have to get, call. A, we uh, eat, do we, we call get, a New Yorker or no, not? No, New Yorker? we get two bagels with cream cheese, two bacon egg and cheese, and we eat it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great way Wait, no, no. to finish it. We have to finish it. this right now. <laughs> who are you going to call I it? call a non-New Yorker? No, you Yorker called or? a New Yorker. You called your brother. And I called a non-New Yorker. Yeah. So who do I, so, so now you call this? a non-New Yorker in America. Non-New Yorker in America. Um, there was a question here by Skinny. He says, what's an easy meal that you like to make? Non-New Yorker in America. Hey, hey, hey. Did you hear the question? Sorry, say that again? He says, Skinny 1K says, what's an easy meal that you like to make? Easy meal that I like to make. Easy meal. I'll tell you mine first so you can think. Uh, we always have rice on hand at home. Yeah. I'm always, always fry some spam. Mm. Cut it up. Dice it up. Mm. Get some white rice. Mm. Put some red pepper paste. Mm. Sesame oil. Mm. If you're really feeling it, get some aged kimchi. Mm. Put Mix it all together. Mm. Put the spam mm. and then get one fry egg mm. on top. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh my god, that sounds like a banger. It's a banger. I used to make that a lot when I was a kid. I still make it today. I think I the last time I had that was maybe like a few weeks ago. Still bangs. Get get if you really feel in it and if you really want to taste, you know, like the mm, in Korean it's called gozo, which is like gozoam, which is like you know like the mm, flavor. Um, put a, a little extra sesame oil on that. I couldn't care less. I'm trying to think who else. All right, I got, I got one. More. You got one? Okay. A non-New York. He's non-New- he's not a New York native. Okay. Okay. By the way, Jimmy V and Bart are going absolutely wild in the comments about um everything. But um Brian, can I ask you a question? You're on live stream, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna put you on speaker. You're live on you're live in the comments. Brian, when it comes to New York, I'm not I'm not even gonna name the two things. When it comes to New York, what's the f- what's the first order? Like food when it comes to New York? First order? Like food. Like what's quintessential New York? Okay, we're thinking breakfast. We're thinking bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Shut up. Thank you, this Brian. Is, this is... Why, 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 why? Yo, Brian Powell, what's up? What else? See, if you were to choose between bagel and cream cheese and a bacon, egg, and cheese, which one do you think is more New York? Nah, bacon, egg, and cheese for sure. Thank I, you, Brian. I, I, I Thank you. you Bye, this Brian. Ain't, this ain't fair. This is what I'm talking about. Brian, this oh, is why This you my guy. Thank you, Brian. Love you. I'll talk to you later, but get this guy off. Oh, you! <laughs> you just, I said, "Love you." Oh. He said, "Bye." Thank you. you. Can't. We ended the debate. My guy from my guy's from Westchester. He's not from Westchester. Where is he from? He's from Long Island. That. That's not New York. That. That's not New York. Long. You, that is basically New York. You absolutely. I'm talking about New York City. That ain't New York City. That is, ba- that is New basically York New York City. No, it ain't. You. That is literally New York City. You call. Right, you then you call a friend. Because you're always going out with different friends. Call one friend call right now. Friend, no, but all my friends are in New York. Freaking none of them are. No, See, if I, call of... my, if I call my PA friend, he's saying bagel because he's never had a bacon, egg, and cheese in New York. He only gets bagels. Is Maha from New York? Maha's born and bred in New York. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, he was born in India, uh-huh. came here at one, and then been, lived okay, in. So somebody else. No, 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 don't, don't, don't cower. Call you. Ask your boys. I'm good. Nah, I thought so. Okay. I'm, I thought so. I'm pretty sure most of them are going to say bagel because they're the bagel type, but I'm not trying to be biased here. Cause you called someone that would a thousand. I knew Brian. I knew our boy Brian would say bacon keep, egg and you cheese. Know what, you know what? We're gonna keep going. Bacon egg and cheese. We're keep going. No, that's what I say. It's biased because you're asking all your friends, and they're all in the same. Our place. friends. Shut Nine. up. Are this your friends? <laughs> no, it's because it's the truth. And it's not the truth. Lil Yo Yo says Ronaldo Brown fire fire. Yes yes. Uh, Maltiti also says John. I hope your hand is all right after celebrating that rash. I'm gonna on call Sunday. Mason Mount. I personally almost broke my ankle celebrating the deal. Deal. Who'd you just say? <laughs> Wait hold on. Hold, who'd you just say? I'm gonna call Mason Mount. If you can even get him online, I'll, Mount, I will. Uh, I will. I uh, I will forever never bring up bagels and bacon and cheese. I can't call. Do that. Thank you. DB Cooper says England has become an I'm ally call to Jimmy. You saying yes. Bolt? Crazy. I'm gonna call See, this is the Doobie thing. Doobie. This is the <laughs> All right guys, thank you for joining us. I think that I think this guy's head is gone now. This guy's head is gone. You should have never said that on stream. Brian Cho says bagels are for the privileged. Thank you, Brian. One Jim Man w- says word bagels are too expensive. See, this is I like DP Cooper. He says the bagel though is synonymous with New York to us outsiders. 
And I'll say this, Long Island ain't outside for New Yorkers. I'm going to call a non-New Yorker. You know why Long Islanders are New Yorkers? Because when you ask them from Long Island where they are, they're just like me. I say I'm from Philly. They say for, they're from New York City. I'm going to call a non-New Yorker. Who? You said that last round and you called someone from Long Island. I really don't want to bother them. That's why. <laughs> you at, so you're saying you're okay bothering your boy Brian? Your boy Ronaldo they're my Brown? Bro- they're my brothers. That's why. They're my bros for life. So this is just some some guy you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, who will come? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna try calling. Uh, Jimmy V says, "John, let's get the channel a pro clubs team." Lil Yo Yo says, "Go to a deli and eat." Who, who, why are you Facetime with someone? Calling Dean. Uh, let's see if he picks up. Wait, isn't he in Cali? It's probably mad early for him. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's like eight o'clock in the morning for him. Oh, shoot, this I guy. Forgot. This guy. I forgot. Oh my! I'm trying God. to call non New Yorkers. It's hard. This guy. Um, Long Island is cheating, says Lil Yo Yo. Man. TV Cooper also says, maybe my mind is being changed to the bacon, egg, and cheese. What bread is it on? Usually you get a bacon, egg, and cheese on a Kaiser, Kaiser roll. roll. A fat, steamy Kaiser roll like this big. It's mad good. Mad good. Um, should, I, should I call Jay? Lil Yo Yo says, a bagel slash bacon, should egg, and cheese. Our, our boy Jay in the UK? Yeah. No, no, I Don't think that's too much work. That's too much work. That's too much work. That's too, okay, fine. That's too much work, I think. This is crazy, by the way. I said not to be. Let's see if Jay picks up. Uh, he's probably busy with his family. Yeah, it's a Sunday, bro. Let's see if he picks up. We're calling our boy Jay from Streffer. So. All right, I think that's long enough. Five, four, three, two, one. Jay's busy. Jay's busy. Uh, DB Cooper says, dang, I love a Kaiser roll. I'm feeling the bacon, egg, and cheese, man. Jimmy V also says, what happened to your wall decoration? Um, you'll see if he drops the video today or tomorrow. You'll see why the the kit from the kit man. The kit man. Guys, uh, I just want to say, um, let's sort of like kind of wrap up the show here. Uh, <laughs> After this whole debacle. I mean, I won. So You did not um, win. You did not win. You said you're going to call someone that was not in New York and you called Long Island. That's just like me saying I'm from Philly. Because people so in Long Island. So why can't you call your Philly friends? Because it's unfair. I told you. That's biased. Just like D.B. Cooper said, everyone outside of New York City is going to say bagel. No, call them. We'll challenge that take. We'll challenge that claim. I'm good. Why? Because I don't want to win like that. No, it's because you, you, you don't have anybody to call right now. Oh, no. I have, I have a lot of people. Then call them right now. No, I'm not, I don't want to bother my friends on a su- Saturday or Sunday. They're, they're resting. It's the rest day. So, 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 I, so I have to do it. No, I said you didn't have to. I'm going to call them. I'm gonna call them no, I, said, I said you don't have to. I'm going to call somebody that lived in Korea. Uh-huh. Was born in Port, uh, lived in uh-huh. Port Washington. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not, right? He's not a native New Yorker, right? Uh, no, yeah? he's not. He's not, so I'm going to call him. Guys, we really need to leave. Um, Lil Yo Yo says, what Korean food Hold item on, would Tom. you... Hello? Kyle, do you have a second? Okay, you're live on stream, okay? I have a question to ask. You're live on stream. The, the commenters, they're, they're listening to you, okay? I need you to answer this question. Okay. When it comes to New York City... Right? Do you think of what, what what order comes to your mind? Is it a bacon egg and cheese, or is it a bagel with cream cheese? What comes first? Bacon egg and cheese. Thank you, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, thank you, Jimmy. You got something to say, though? Cream cheese. Oh, I think I think BB just said cream cheese and bagel. BB said cream cheese and bagel. Thank you, BB. Oh, why did? Bibi thank you so much, Vivian. Thank you. What'd you say, BB? Cream cheese and a bagel, let's go. <laughs> I mean, but that's what she prefers. Uh, I, hey. We're talking about what comes it doesn't first. Matter. It doesn't matter. BB's on my side. Thank you so much, Vivian. Thank you so much. Hot sauce. Hot sauce? On a roll. On a roll? Wait, what did he order? He says he's getting a bacon egg and cheese with hot sauce oh. on a roll. Kyle. Kyle, this is why, this is why you should come on the show. More often because this is what I'm talking about. Kyle, this is why Vivian's great. No, Vivian, no, Vivian, so no, Vivian's great. Vivian's great. She's great. Well, Kyle knows what's up. 
Kyle, you are not great. Why Kyle sleeping on the couch? Oh, 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 oh see, you, you instigated it. We gotta hang up. Thank hang you, guys. We, got, we just got Kyle yeah. in trouble. See ya. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs> Dude, see what you started? We just see got, what you started? We just got Kyle in see trouble. What, you see what you started? <laughs> He's sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because he chose the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kyle, if you need a different game, you can sleep Absolutely. DB Cooper says, go to Jung. Oh. Oh, um, little yo yo, this will be the last question we answer. Right, we've been answering. Thank you guys questions. so much for sitting here with us for the last hour and a half. Crazy to think it was an hour and a half, but thank you guys for staying here, joining us, and you know, being here for our craziness. But the last question we will uh, answer is: Little yo asks, "What Korean food item would you add to a bagel or bacon, egg, and cheese?" Banger. <sighs> what Banger. A question. Banger question. What the special one says, "I heard American cheese isn't real cheese." I I, I don't know. I don't know. DB Cooper says, dang, y'all just dog host your boy. <laughs> what a question. Oh, man. Dang. Because if, I, if I'm thinking bagel. like, if I'm thinking like putting like fermented kimchi on it, I feel like it's just too, much, too much salt and like yeah, too, much, too like, much. Yeah. So something a little bit more on the mouth. Oh. It ain't gotta be. Dang, that's a vibe. Oh, cheukbokum. Oh. Like spicy chayuk I want some chayuk for anyone that doesn't know. It's spicy pork belly. Yeah, spicy marinated yeah, pork sp- belly. Like you marinate the pork belly overnight and like really spicy. Oh my God. It's, it's not spicy. It's like sweet spicy almost. Here's the here's the build. With the grilled onions and the... Here's the build. Kaiser roll. Kaiser roll. Layer of bacon. Wow. On top of that, yeah. slap the chayuk the spicy marinated Sheesh. pork, right? Right on top. Sheesh. And then add the onions. And then add the cheese on top of cheese. that. What cheese? I mean, it's got to be American cheese. It's got to be like, I mean, sometimes I like Honestly, to get. I would take it without the cheese. Because I mean, yeah, that build, yeah, that build, you probably you can do without. But oh, and then roll to. T- uh, uh, why'd you why? <laughs> why'd you get try to go out of frame oh, yeah. there? <laughs> you absolute. Jimmy V says American cheese is definitely fake. At least the Kraft Singles one that most people think of. It tastes fake. Tastes fake, but it's, but it's good. delicious. Yeah, good. It's delicious have, it on, fake. have it on a nice steamy burger. Mm. I still never tried a chopped cheese, so you want you want to go try chopped cheese right now, and we'll film that. No. <laughs> Um, guys, thank you so much. We have been yapping away for the last hour and a half, but, um, you know, with international break going on there, uh, we just wanted to, you know, connect, have fun with everyone. And I hope you guys had a great time. If you guys really enjoyed, oh, yo, yo, you said, don't forget the egg. How did I forget the egg? We don't forget the, egg. the fried egg, sunny side. For bacon, egg and cheese. It's gotta be uh fried egg for me. It's sunny side. Ooh. Cause I like a little bit of that runniness. The, the, the like, yolk just dip, dripping out. Is there is there like a half sunny side? What is the, what's the thing called again? Over easy. Over easy. I don't know. I'm just naming egg over things easy. right here. Yeah, yeah. But because you don't want too much of the. Oh, uh, but you, you just want, want a little bit just of, a little drip. Just, just a just <laughs> a. Okay, Lil Yo says big up. That was fun, guys. If you guys enjoy us yapping away, most of the time we'll be talking and yapping about football. We'll be talking about Manchester United. But if you guys enjoy that, please don't forget to like. Can comment. I can I announce this by the way? Sure. Okay. Um. There's a couple of things that we wanted to talk to you guys about. First things first, uh, we are going to be starting a very, 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 very fun brand new series on our channel. Uh, I don't know what to, we still don't even know the title yet. We got to figure that out. I don't even know. We've been dwelling on that for months. Yes. Um, It's a new quiz series. Jimmy and I have been investing so much time and energy into preparing for that show. And finally, we're almost there. And the first, I, I can, I can smell it. Yeah. I can taste it. I can. Yes. Yeah. We're almost there. Yeah. And, once that releases, we would graciously ask you all for your support in that respect because we've been investing so much time and energy. Like I, I just, I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like we, we, we would feel so grateful if people watch it and 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 told told us. I, they don't even have to watch it and go, I enjoyed it. Like I like just just them watching it and saying I either enjoyed or didn't enjoy it. Like yeah. that reaction yeah. even alone would be incredible for us. So yeah. please, please keep an eye out for that. That's coming for you very soon. Yes. And the Footy Kit Check season two has just about begun. First episode was with uh, the incredibly, te- incredibly beautiful couple, Tim and Kayla. Shout out to Tim and Kayla. Um, they look, in- they look, they look dope. That that's a beautiful couple right yeah, there. That's a, that's that was a, a couple. Yeah. banging couple. Yeah, and um, uh, we're gonna do more of those here in New York City. So Footy Kit Check, keep yeah. an eye, keep your eyes peeled for yeah. that. If you guys are watching this, then you know if you want to be on it, and you're in New York, yeah, and you're in New York. That'd be great. DB Cooper says, don't name a pepper. We got carried away. Yeah, let's not do that. 
Yeah. Um, that I was miss, fun. I miss uh, Pepper. That was fun, though. I wanted to keep doing it. You want to run it back? This guy, this guy said to stop it. You want to run it back? So, I mean, we could do whatever we want. Okay. Well, I mean, I thought we were going to do snacks, but... We're not going to be able to do snacks. I'm going to bring a snack next week. Okay. I'm going to bring a snack. There's next no rules. Yeah, bring it. I'm going to bring up a snack next week. Yeah. Um, I think that's where we can end it off, Jimmy. Yeah, I think we can end off. There, Thank guys. you guys so much for tuning in, guys. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Can if I just say this? Yeah. I was, I was going to end the whole stream, and then you just completely, you know, took it over. And I feel some type of way right now. Yeah, so you took over. See, now I'm pressured. Now, now you have to do it. Oh, my... <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I, I hope you guys enjoyed our ramble session today. I think the international break brings out this like yeah. just stupid. Yeah, Maltiti Maltiti says she says international breaks is so boring. Yeah, but it's fun. I think this is fun. Just I don't even know if we answered their questions. I feel like we just kind of went on our own tangent. So we do apologize. Maybe we could have answered more comments. But mm -hmm. uh, if you guys want to see more of these, let us know in the comments. Uh, and if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Ninety nine percent of the time we're chatting waffle, but ninety percent of that chatting is waffle, we chatting pancakes. Dude, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but we're talk we talk mostly football. So if you guys are new, please consider subscribing to the channel mm -hmm. and make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys are always staying up to date on whenever we drop a new bangers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will be here next week. Yeah, we should be. Next week. Yeah, we should be. Next week. Yeah. Is it, am I am I am I missing something? Next week. All right. So close us. Close us out. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday wherever you are. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you.